So first off, why is digital and financial inclusion of women an important issue for you? Firstly, thank you very much for having this interview with us, uh, giving us the opportunity to share our experiences uh, in this space. As you know, dialogue has been always in the forefront of driving connectivity in the country. Uh, we always see connectivity as a means of bridging the divide, uh, be it uh, the poverty gap or be it the education gap. In this particular uh, challenge that we are looking at, uh, bridging the digital divide uh, in women, uh, we see that women has access to uh, unlocking larger opportunities for the communities. And this challenge and the opportunity has been earlier recognized by governments to drive education. In this context, keeping women aside is would be the same uh, drawback that we would face if we keep them uh, out of education. Uh, and in that context, it is very important to have women uh, with us to enable digitization, drive to unlocking growth uh, in our economies. Because they are the key enabler uh, of growth, key enabler of societies uh, within uh, our ecosystem. And what do you see as the primary challenges to closing the gender gap in mobile internet and mobile financial services. So what do you see as key to successfully reaching women? Yeah, I think it's largely an awareness gap. Um, the, it's proven that how much mobile connectivity, broadband access uh, can help drive economies, can help drive accelerate economic growth, can help um, empower consumers. Uh, however, due to various reasons, this awareness on the power of connectivity uh, has been not reaching the desired segments. Uh, women being uh, one segment that prioritize others ahead of their own needs uh, in the family uh, tend to uh, overlook uh, this aspect of connectivity and the power of connectivity. So I would rather see this as an awareness challenge um, and also to some extent having the relevant content, relevant services uh, to support their needs. So how are you addressing these challenges and working to, to close the gender gap? We truly believe that um, elevating the gender gap in connectivity would certainly help uh, unlock large opportunities. Within this uh, program we have multiple uh, facets that we are looking at. Uh, one is making content available, relevant content, uh, be it in Sinhalese, Tamil or English and making those content relevant to the consumer as well as to the ecosystem that uh, they uh, support. Um, giving educational content uh, and making awareness about that educational content so that uh, mother in the house can guide the uh, child uh, to prepare for the exams better, having access to our content platform. Uh, similarly, if you want to start a vocation, want to start um, a little uh, shop, how can you manage your daily financials? So making stuff relevant um, and very little um, uh, experiences that they can make use of to improve the, uh, their livelihoods is what we are looking at in the product and content uh, segment. Then the third area is uh, making devices available, um, driving affordability in devices because having access to uh, affordable smartphones is again uh, another challenge that we have and we want to bridge. Uh, here again we have uh, been driving 4G connectivity uh, and specific devices along with easy payment schemes uh, where a consumer doesn't need to spend the entire amount of money uh, to buy the device, but spend a part of it and commit to an installments program. So then there again we are trying to uh, break this affordability barrier. The last one uh, is around the reach, uh, how to reach these consumers. Uh, the traditional channels have failed to reach them and that is why we have the awareness channel. So we are working on channels to reach these customers, be it through our corporate partners uh, who have access to a large number of women uh, work in those factories um, or it, be it in the plantation sector. Our program is structured around four A's, uh, applicability, affinity, affordability and availability um, and this program has direct oversight uh, at my end uh, and the support from all the senior leadership team of Dialog. Both are very important, having 
leadership support as well as a comprehensive program.